The new hero gameplay trailer for the new hero Ramatra has just been released. Let's check it out. I do not fight for myself. I never have. Together, we are unstoppable. This is not my victory. It is ours. It's her You are finished. <laughs> Come, let us punish them. You were warned. Fight with me. Fight until you fall. Before I yield. No. They will be no. annihilated. Oh. This is not cruelty. This is justice. Now, for the most part, I really did just want to check out the trailer, but there is one huge thing that I noticed when watching the trailer, and it's his fire rate. At least in his big boy tank mode, he seems to have the slowest fire rate in the entire world, which makes sense. And I know they could be doing this because it's a trailer and they got to make him look strong so people want to play the new hero, but it also looks like it does a load of damage, which kind of scares me because we don't need another tank that does a stupid amount of damage. I'd love a tank that's role is not to out damage our DPSs. He definitely seems like a hero that you're gonna have to put a lot of time into mastering him. With him having two different forms, with different abilities in each form, it's definitely going to take a lot of time to uh, learn those abilities and use them to their full potential. One thing that I've been interested since we learned about this whole two form thing is I'm wondering if people are going to find one form that's just kind of better than the other form and just stick with it and play mostly with that form. Obviously switch here and there if you need a little bit more range, but from what we could see, it looks like his tank form does have a decent amount of range with his punches. It's not just a Reinhardt, you know, if they're next to you, you can hit them. It does look to have a little bit more range. It shows you right here. One thing I do like is that his alt can't go past shields, at least from what we can see. It looks like Reinhardt is perfectly protected from his ultimate and his abilities it makes there seem like shields do actually have a use even though they pretty much don't and anybody can rail your shield in like two seconds these days but i'm not gonna lie his abilities don't seem to be too strong i feel like he's gonna be a very balanced character on release and i know that's not what a lot of us want. Overwatch 2 devs have been very, very adamant on making the game balanced and fun for everybody, but I feel like that's not what we need in a game that we want to be fun with consistent updates and stuff. I feel like the overpoweredness of some heroes is what we actually need. It makes there something that you really want to come back and play. Oh, there's this hero that I can come and play and absolutely demolish everybody even if I'm absolutely dog water at the game. That's what's fun to some people. And I know a lot of you guys might disagree, but that's kind of what keeps games alive. Like Fortnite, when they were doing weekly updates that brought in something weekly that was absolutely overpowered or just super fun and made the game completely different, that's what we enjoyed. Not when we bring a character in that just feels like the rest of the game that's still just as balanced as every other character and just as boring to play. It doesn't make any sense for us who want to come back and play a game that just going to be continuously balanced and we know what we're getting every single time we show up. I'm a huge fan of Ramatra's backstory. I love the whole Omnic Destroyer thing that he tried to, he really did try to become one of the good guys and understands now that that's just not going to happen and he's got to pave an own, his own path for himself. I really like that. I think that's... I. A lore is something I've always really liked with Overwatch. They've always had good lore between their game dialogue and their cinematics and just everything that they do just brings their lore really well together. I think that's something they really need within bringing these new characters is making just their lore 
expand to have like League of Legends type lore where everything is just crazy. Like there's so much behind their characters. It makes the characters funner to play in my opinion, but I'm excited to see how much damage he does. I have a feeling that if he does do good damage, especially in his tankier form, nobody's going to ever play like anything else just for like the first half. And it's going to be absolute pain to load into tank which it kind of already is with only having one tank other than that thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did enjoy make sure to smash that subscribe button we're trying to hit 5,000 subscribers before the end of the year until next time make sure to stay frosty peace